Welcome. It's very nice to have you here. It's nice to be here. You look fantastic. Thank you. As we know, you play a high school student. You are, I do. but you are not a high school student. No, I'm not. I am in my 20s. You're in your 20s, yes. which class of 2012. You were in a high high school in your 20s would mean that you were very dumb. Yes, yeah. right. Which I hope I'm not. Which you are not. Yes. However, we did. We got your high school yearbook. I can see that. Do you that. recognize this? Nothing stays the same. Nothing stays the same. <laughs> I don't know if I agree with that, nope. but. Uh, Let's take let's oh gosh let's take a little uh, trip down what you, memory lane. What you lane. got there, Jimmy? Well, I've got your page. Uh, All right. And boy, your yearbook is way better than ours was. But this is, <laughs> this is the one right here. So here's what we have. Uh, Our little some questionnaire questions. we had to fill out. What makes you unique? I was born with a chunk of white hair. Mm hmm Okay. Somewhere in there. What is the strangest thing you do? I chew my ice cream. It's the only way to get the taste. Okay. <laughs> what will you miss most about AHS, your high school? Mrs. Mrs. Crick's, Crick's Beaver. Beaver. Mrs. Crick's Beaver. Now, I know please. it sounds a certain way, but, but... I wasn't thinking anything like that. <laughs> Miss Crick was our dean. Oh, she's, even better. She was very strict, mm -hmm. you know? She would sit in her golf cart, and she'd always be like, tuck your shirts in, what would Jesus do, even though we weren't a Catholic school? Mm -hmm. And Jesus, quite famously, never tucked in. He never yeah. tucked his shirt in, which no. I didn't really understand. Yeah. But, um... I was kind of like a good student, and I never cheated, but I let other people cheat off of me. Ah, is that so, even a crime? I don't know. Really, it's an act of kindness. I but agree with you. I would, like, write the answers on my desk, and mm -hmm. then I would write them on a piece of paper after and give them to someone. So the, really, the first time I ever did it, really the only time I ever did it, uh, right when I gave it to my friend, the teacher was walking by, and she's like, I'll take that. Oh. So I got sent to the dean's office, uh -huh. and Miss Crick was there, and I was really putting on a show, you know? I'm an actress. What do you mean you were putting on a show? I was crying. Like, oh, I was you like, were. I'm so sorry, I can't ever do this. You were fake crying? Yeah. Uh-huh. And then, and then she actually like really like took some sympathy. She was like, oh, honey, do you want to hold the beaver? And I was like, I looked behind me to my right, there's like this beaver stuffed animal just oh, like staring God. at me. Yeah. And I was like, oh. Yes, Miss Crick. <laughs> and I held the beaver and I cried. Was that the, why it was there? Yeah, it's literally like a beaver that's there to comfort students. It's a comfort beaver? It's a comfort beaver. <laughs> it's soaked with the tears of students? Yes. Or... <laughs> and it's like, she's like, she won't hug you, but you can touch the beaver. <laughs> like... Is the school mascot the beavers? No. No. We so were there's the Patriots. No reason for it I whatsoever. I don't understand it, Jimmy. That it, I don't understand it either, but it I love that they me. let you slip that in the yearbook. I, That's the <laughs> I heard you went to one of those. I've read about these places, but I've never been to one. One of the Dark pitch black restaurants. restaurants. Yes. Yeah. They have yeah. that in Vancouver. They have that in Vancouver, and a bunch of actors shoot there. So one of our friends had invited a big group to go. And um, we kind of had like a really interesting experience there. I mean, it's already very, it's insane. I mean, you walk in in a conga line because it's pitch black. It's like- So you touch, you have to like hold the person in front of you. You have to hold the person in front of you and you literally can't see anything. You might as well just close your eyes because it's uh -huh. kind of weird if you're opening your eyes. Oh. Huh. And it was honestly like, the whole point of those restaurants is that it's supposed to heighten your senses so the food tastes really good. Right. But honestly, like all of us were so anxious because we can't see anything. And like, you just don't know how to act when you don't know who's in front of you and what food is in front of you. It's like a very daunting experience. And honestly, I feel kind of bad because like the waiters are blind. Oh, and for real blind? They're probably so annoyed with everybody there because they're all like, oh my God, I can't see. This is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> and they're just like, oh. And I imagine that's how they, they were acting They probably wish they everyone. were deaf, too, at that time. Yeah, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. So um, the waiters are all blind. They're all blind. Wow. And you order your food ahead of time, so you don't have to read a menu, obviously. Uh -huh. um, and so I was very smart. I ordered the rigatoni ragu so that it was like kind of easier to eat. Some people ordered meat, and they really regretted it. Ah, it's like, you got bite size. It's weird not to see the food you're eating. Sure, yes. Yeah. Of course, especially meat. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but a particularly interesting moment was my co-star, Cole Sprouse, was there. And he's a photographer, so he decided to bring his camera. And they're very strict about not having any light-producing technology. So you can have your phone, you can have a camera. There literally should be no light in the restaurant. But Cole was feeling, he was up to no good. Mm -hmm. And um, really shocked us, because we weren't expecting it. We were all just eating 30 minutes in. 
adjusted to the darkness, and all of a sudden this huge flash goes off. And everyone's just like, and we're all like blinking light for a while because it's just so that shocking. That is 100% what I would do in that yes. restaurant. <laughs> And he really had no idea what he was taking a photo of. <laughs> but all of a sudden, the room goes quiet. <laughs> and this girl goes, and I imagine she got up, because I could hear her chair shuffle. But I don't really know, but I feel like she really got up to say this. <laughs> and she was like, hey, what's the point of eating in a dark restaurant if you're going to bring your phone? <laughs> and then the whole room is quiet. <laughs> and all of a sudden, she goes, boo. <laughs> Everyone in the restaurant starts booing along with her. Cole is getting booed. But they don't even know who they're booing at because you oh, can't see. Yeah, so right. I don't even know if they know which direction to boo at. Everyone's just like, boo! <laughs> so naturally, our table, we just start booing along. You have we're like, to, yeah, of boo! <laughs> I don't know who did that, but I know. Was... Uh, shame, shame, shame on it. It literally them. felt like that scene in Game of Thrones where they're like, shame, shame, shame. <laughs> By the way, I didn't realize this. We have the photograph. We have the photo here uh, for that, you guys. <laughs> he snapped. <laughs> that is Casey, my other wow. co-star, and Isabella Gomez. I've never seen red eye that red before. <laughs> that is the reddest red eye I have ever seen. And in she my wanted whole me life. to make it clear she's not eating with her hands because she's an animal. She's eating with her hands because she like literally she's, couldn't find her yes, fork. <laughs> <laughs> well, that is something else. Well, it's great to meet you. Yeah, the nice show is called too. Riverdale. You can watch it, it Wednesday nights on the CW. Camila Mendez, everybody. Thanks for watching. If you liked that video, click the subscribe button. And if you didn't like it, well, you hurt my feelings.